Every time we try out a new car here on Top Gear, one of the criteria we look into is its handling. Not just so we can have some fun on an airfield, but also as a test of how a car will react in an emergency. But what is the best handling production road car? Well, that might just depend on how you prefer your car to feel, because handling is a very subjective thing. So we brought along four machines that reflect the best qualities in four very different approaches to car design. The front engine, front wheel drive, Peugeot 306 GTI 6. Front engine, rear wheel drive, BMW M Roadster. The awesome front engine, four wheel drive, Mitsubishi Evo 6. Finally, Ferrari's mid-engined rear-wheel drive 360 Modena. And to make sure it's not just me picking my favourite, I've been joined by former British rally champion Mark Higgins to take the cars to the limit and compare notes. Let battle commence. So, what are we looking for? Well, primarily, we want a car that does what we want it to do. One that doesn't have any sudden vices that catch us out. One that communicates to us both through the steering wheel and the seat of our pants. One that puts a smile on our faces. First up, the 306. The little Peugeot. Regarded by most as one of the finest handling front-wheel drive cars around, so, let's put it through its paces. At high speed, this little Peugeot is impeccably well behaved. 70 mile an hour cornering, neutral, you just lift off the throttle, the rear steps out slightly, and then it's full power all the way out of the corner. The car's quite well balanced and you can actually position it on the road exactly where you want to, just by controlling the understeer. And that's obviously a characteristic you get with a front wheel drive car. So, whilst this little Peugeot is incredibly easy to flick around these corners, you can't actually really have the fun of a power slide out of a front-wheel drive car. It's incredibly impressive, but perhaps not really what I'm looking for. So what you need is rear-wheel drive, like the BM. But with the front engine layout, you must remember that the rear is a bit light. So if you turn in a bit deep and a bit harsh, the back will go out. But you can then <laughs> have a wild time catching it. A lot of cars give a negative feedback when you do go sideways and they're quite snappy. But this is definitely very responsive to turning, which you've got there. And then power on oversteer. And the car at all times feels nice and safe. And if you want to, you can keep the car very, very straight. But then if you want to go sideways, use the power, and away she goes. This car is a little honey. For smile on the face enjoyment, this is hard to beat. But if anything can, surely the Evo can. Here we are now in the Evolution 6 Mitsubishi. Four-wheel drive, turbocharged, over 300 horsepower. And this thing feels quick. Feel like you can turn into a corner at any speed you want. And then just hit the power. And it straightens itself up. And it's got no real negative characteristics about it. But just, I suppose, in a big open space like this, it's a little bit boring. Very impressive but not overly exciting. And finally, the Ferrari. With that mid-mounted engine supposedly in the ideal position for the best weight distribution. So this high-speed corner, beautifully neutrally in, and tremendous traction on the way out. And that's really because it's got more weight over the rear wheels than the BMW, so the traction's improved. A long open hairpin right, turning in. Understeer initially. Then the car fires out with oversteer. From a handling point of view, it does everything fairly properly. The initial understeer is not so nice. 
but it makes it very, very safe and actually takes a little bit of getting used to. But once he got used to it, Mark would obviously agree with me that the best handling car was... BMW Roadster got to be. No, Mark, it is the Ferrari Modena. What, what are you on about? All right, OK, one thing we do agree is nobody's mentioned the poor little Peugeot. No, no, no it's a lovely car and it does everything you sort of want it to do, but it doesn't really excite me at all. So very predictable, very safe for the average driver to get near the limit in, but not much fun. Very purposeful, yeah. But what about your rally car? You're the rally man. Why not the Evo 6 for you? Uh, I've driven it before on the road. It's great. Uh, just here, just seemed to understeer. You couldn't really make the car. When you told it to do something, it didn't really want to do it. It had its own set way of doing everything. But the Ferrari, the Ferrari, I mean, beautiful, fastest, just mid-engine, perfect handling. No. It's lovely, it's, it's lovely but it, it understeers and then it big time oversteers. I knew what Mark meant, but I just hated to admit it. The Ferrari is just too much on a knife edge. So our award goes to the car that puts the biggest smile on our faces. The one you can do just what you want with. The BMW Z3 Roadster.